sometimes stand on box, okay? Why does it say the twice on your board? Well, a lot of people Jesus don't see it the first you. time. They don't what? They don't All see right. it the first time. What's your name again? Rob. Rob, spell the word shop. Shop? Yeah, where you buy things, shop. Are you serious? Yeah, spell it. S-H-O-P. What do you do when you come to a green light? You stop. Green light. Oh. <laughs> You can't trust your natural sense, you can't trust your mind, and that's what that shows you. When you read that the first time, you don't see the double up on the the or the a. Get it? Yeah. And you trust your own heart? Yeah. What color's the sky? Blue. Come on. Blue. No, it's not. There's no color to the sky. You ask any astronaut, it just looks blue. Have you ever seen a sunrise? Yes. No one has ever seen the sunrise. The sun doesn't rise. The earth turns, the sun remains still. Seeing is believing. Sure. Any sleight of hand magician can show you that seeing is not believing. Okay? Are you a magician? Yeah, I do some sleight of hand stuff. I can make show me something. Oh, give me some chocolate. I'll make it disappear. Awesome. Don't you? Use the light. No, I don't want to use your light. Okay, well, we'll get someone else. I'm allowed. First thing I gotta speak nice and loud. I will speak nice and loud for you, Ray. <laughs> he checked that. How is it? Very good. All right. So I just want to know, what is your religion? What's your belief? What I'm a Christian? You? You're a Christian. I born, believe that God born made in, everything. Born and raised a Christian? No, you gotta be born twice to be a Christian. Oh. <laughs> okay. I became a Christian when I was 22. Born the second time at the age of 22. So this is what I believe. Well, this is what I know. That God created all things. God is perfect. He's holy and He's righteous. And He set aside a day in which He'll judge the world in righteousness. One moment. I'll give you a quick synopsis. God, being good, must punish a murderer and a rapist. He'll not let them go free because He's good. But He's so good, He's going to punish thieves and liars. Have you ever stolen? I've stolen. I've lied. I've done illegal sex. I've lied. I've drinking booze. I've drunk your age. I've drunk done it all. Drinking booze is not a sin. Drunkenness is. Okay. I'm out. Oh. Drunkenness is a sin. So you're a lying thief. I am a lying thief. Have you looked at a woman and blasted out for her? Very much so. I'm only human. What's that got to do with evolution? Okay. Yeah. So why is he out here? We want to talk to you about evolution. What about it? We're waiting for evolutionists to come along because they're very rare. Come to the microphone and talk to me. What about evolution? I'm an evolutionist. What about it? You believe in it? It's not a belief. Evolution's not a belief. No. It's a theory that has three basic tenets. Do you believe that your children are going to look like you? No. That must be a Okay, well then you're, 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 most people do. Evolution just says this. Daughters and sons resemble their parents. It also says, it also says that if you live to an age where you can reproduce, in the environment you're in, you're going to have more offspring that look like you. This is this would win everyone over evolution. They found one. A catfish. Oh no! I mean, you're, you're a comedian, but if you ever want to talk real science, well, don't have to agree with me. All you have to do is be open-hearted. Okay? Just soften your heart. So, do you think your children are going to resemble their parents? Like, does a black man have a white child? Does a does a no? It can happen, and that's called. And guess what? That's called a mutation, and that's one of the things evolution looks for to create diversity in a gene pool. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Someone else paid attention. So we think that humans have human children. We think that cats have cat children. We, yes, it is. That's, that's the first tenet of evolution. The second one is net reproductive success, which means if you live long enough to reproduce, more organisms are going to be in the population that resemble you. Wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So acknowledge your sins. Realize that you've broken those commandments. Who was his life? Who was his stolen? Who was his and used God's name in vain? On the day of judgment, you'll end up guilty, and I don't want you to go to hell. And that's the sole reason I'm here today. I don't make money doing this. This doesn't feel good. I'm here because I care about you. I'd just like to point out the obvious. That is, first of all, so you don't break your neck. Thank you. I totally disagree with you. And second of all, I appreciate the fact that you're giving your critics the mic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Us off you. A fistful of diamonds or a glass of cool, clear water. Which would you choose? Of course, you take the diamonds. You're not stupid. But if you were crawling through a desert and you were dying of thirst, now if you're a fistful of diamonds or a glass of water, which would you choose? Diamonds. What's your name? Huh? Oh, that's an unusual name. That's right. What's, what's your name? Troy. Troy? Troy, do you think you're a good person? I went through this last time you guys were out here. And what happened? 
found out I wasn't that good of a person. <laughs> what did I say to you? Did I ask you if you've ever lied or stolen? Yeah, you did. And you said you had? Yeah. So you admitted you were a lying thief? Yes. Did I say to you that Jesus did it with a look at a woman, blessed after her, has committed adultery with her his heart? Right. And what happened? You've broken those commandments. Absolutely. And where would you go if you died today? Well, seeing how I was saved the other day, I'd probably go to heaven. You became a Christian? Yes. That is such good news. Woo!